All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So here today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to delegate and undelegate your ADA to a stake pool. So if you're interested in that type of content, go ahead and stay tuned. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here for this video. What I wanted to do to get started was essentially show you the delegation center. So right now we are on the incentivized testnet version in order to delegate our ADA. This is gonna look very similar when we do see Shelly on mainnet. The Daedalus version is gonna be updated to have the delegation center available and the user interface is gonna be very similar to what we're looking at right now. So to get things started here, we've got this tab here on the left hand side. We can see it looks kind of like a cluster and next to that we can see this highlighted tab is the delegation center. Next tab to the right is gonna be stake pools and the one right after that is gonna be rewards. So just to go over briefly what we're looking at here, what we can see in the delegation center, it shows you the current Cardano epoch, as well as the epoch that will be starting after and the time remaining until that next epoch. So what we're looking at here as well, we can see the wallets that we have listed. So if you have multiple wallets in your data list, you're gonna see those multiple wallets listed. And then right next to that, we're gonna see the uh, stake pool that we are currently delegating to. And then if we hover over this option here, we can see the option to undelegate or redelegate. So we're gonna be looking at that further in more detail here in just a moment. The next tab that we're taking a look at is the stake pools tab. So this is going to show us all the available stake pools that we're able to delegate to. Now I did several videos back in the past talking about all the different things regarding these tiles, you know, as far as the color coding and, and the options to be able to pick a stake pool based on the metrics within Daedalus. I'll go over that briefly here in this video just as a refresher, but I'm gonna link to that video. I do recommend you check it out if you are new to Daedalus or if you wanna learn how to look at these different tiles and figure out what exactly all the different things mean. Go ahead and check that out. I think you'll enjoy it. And then this next tab right here is gonna be rewards. So this right here we can see is the current amount of rewards that we've earned cumulatively for delegating to a stake pool. So that's what we're looking at as far as the user interface for the delegation center of Daedalus. What I wanted to show you next is how you can go ahead and delegate to a stake pool. So let's take a look here back. If we go to the stake pools tab up at the top, I wanna to search for Kaizen stake pool. And we can see here, you just go ahead and type in the ticker for the stake pool. And when you click on it, it actually is gonna pull up a window that allows you to see the different metrics for the stake pool. So just to go over that briefly for you, so this will show us the rank in terms of categorizing the stake pool based on the amount of ADA that is delegated as well as the performance. We're also gonna be looking at controlled stakes. So this will show us how much ADA has been delegated to the stake pool. Pool margin is gonna be the tax as well as the cost per epoch, those two kind of go hand in hand. One's a percentage, one is a fixed fee. The other is performance. We can see Kaizen is really crushing it. We've got over 100% performance. And then produce blocks. This is gonna be total number of produce blocks. So that's what we're looking at as far as the tile here. We can see a brief description of the stake pool as well as the URL to a website if they have one. Saturation, just to go over that briefly. So this will show you a percentage of the saturation point for the stake pool. Right now, we are a very low saturation point, so that's good. I think once you see a 1%, so 1% meaning of the total available supply of ADA, that is when you're gonna get to a point where your stake pool is saturated. So right now, we are definitely in the clear for that. And um, you know we're looking at this bar here to be able to show us exactly what that looks like. So now if we go over to this option here where it shows delegate to this pool, we're gonna click on it and it's gonna ask us to choose our wallet. So we're gonna click on continue and we can select that wallet and we can go ahead and select the option to do so right down here and we'll do continue. All right, so this is gonna show us the uh, stake pool that we have selected. Once we are okay with that selection, we can hit continue. And it's gonna ask us to type in our spending password. So I'm gonna do that here. Give me just one moment. 
And then after you click on confirm, the transaction is gonna be broadcasted to the network and you should see that transaction take effect in maybe a few seconds. Um, if it doesn't take effect right away, in, at least in the testnet version, it does give you the option. If the transaction does time out, you can cancel the transaction and try it again. In the mainnet, we likely will not have that issue, but it's just a you know, pointer. That's something that I've experienced in the testnet. And we can see here that we have now successfully delegated our ADA to Kaizen stake pool. The new delegation is going to take effect in the next epoch, and it shows you the time in order for that to take effect. That's pretty much it. So you have successfully delegated your ADA. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Next thing I wanted to show you is how to undelegate. So let's say for instance, if you are delegating to a stake pool and if you wanna try something different, or if you're you know, maybe noticing that you could be potentially earning higher rewards by delegating to another stake pool, you have the option to undelegate and redelegate to a stake pool. Easiest way is gonna to be to go to the delegation center. So we're gonna click up there. And as we can see here, we are still currently delegating to our previous stake pool. Now this is because when we delegated our ADA to the new stake pool, it's gonna take the next epoch in order for that to take effect. So just for the instance and the sake of this video, to show you how to undelegate or redelegate your ADA, easiest way is to click on this undelegate option. So when you click on it, it's gonna ask you to go about the same thing that we were looking at before. You just wanna click on these two options here, saying that you understand what it is that you're doing by undelegating your ADA, and you wanna type in your spending password to confirm the transaction fee. After that, click on undelegate, and you will have successfully undelegated your stake from that stake pool. So after you have clicked on undelegate, that's it. You have successfully undelegated your ADA. That is the easiest way to go about doing so. So that is what I have for you all here in this video. I definitely do hope that you enjoyed it and that you did find some value. If you did, please be sure to drop a like. It definitely does help out the channel. And if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.